Hey guys, what's up? It's your girl Dev, and today we're going to talk about Bot World Adventure. And this video is going to cover the codexes in both Scrapper Coast and the Great Desert. And in this video, we're going to talk about the different areas you're going to be able to explore, what to look out for on the special creatures to get those special rewards, and your fastest way to complete these codexes. Now remember, these codexes are meant to be long term, so if you started the game kind of late, then you're in the best position because you'll see all of these zones for a very long time. In my case, I've been playing for a little while, so I have to go back and repeat some of these areas just so I can get these codexes completed. But that's okay. I'm going to do it for you guys. And as well, we're going to reference the Bot World Adventure Wiki Links page. And I'm telling you, there's so much information in this webpage. They have everything you need to know about all the different kinds of bots, where to go find the different areas, and we're going to use a couple of the screenshots that they have because unfortunately I wasn't able to get those screenshots. So if you want more information and super in-depth readable details for Bot World, it's going to be in the description and the link above my head if you want to go hop there now and take a look. It's super awesome. They've got a really a whole bunch of great content for those bot world players. So stick around, we've got a lot to cover in this video. Sit back and enjoy the ride. All right, so let's first talk about the different locations in Scrapper Coast that you're going to need to explore in order to get the achievement. The first area is the Bandit Hideout. Now it's just above my head there and you just have to go through the Bandit Hideout. You have to fight a little bit of Rocketeers. They're in that area. They're not that difficult, but in the early game they might be a little bit harder. So some good close range bots will help you the best. The second area is Cobblestone Clearing and that's actually to my direct left. Those are, you might be able to get there in the early game with your low level bots, but there are pretty decent level bots right there. And you just have to go in that far corner and you will see it. The third piece is Eagle's Patch Lookout. And that is actually located in the middle of the map, just above my head. And you just have to go over off to the side on the right and you'll be able to look over and it'll give you the little magnifying glass to be able to start that one. And the fourth one is Cinnamon's Boat. And she's located in the standard normal starting area. So you'll be able to go through the village and just walk up to her and see her. Sometimes I like to walk around that area because they do have like random little piles of scrap that give a couple of pieces of scrap, but it, it's still something better than nothing. And the fifth piece is actually the beach, which is again on the far side of the map. And you can usually make this in a full circuit but you'll need your recruits to help you and some bot pack abilities so that you're not gonna die right away because it's a pretty long stretch from one side to the other. And of course, the last piece is the abandoned mine shaft. You can usually do that kind of first along with the you know Eagle's Patch Lookout and the Bandit Hideout. You can usually do those three at the same time since they're like really close together and they're confined. And the bots aren't super difficult, but they are really close together as you get to the mine shaft and uh, right there at the lookout. So those are the two pieces that you might struggle a little bit with. But this is the overall locations. I was able to, again, pull this from the Wikilinks page. It's super awesome. Don't forget to check it out. Now, the next part of Scrapper Coast is most of the stuff besides all the locations it's actually all of these. Uh, the jackalope is the super hardest thing to find. And I had to go to the wiki page just to figure out what am I looking for? And essentially, it's like a little golden rabbit. And you'll see it. It can't miss it. Apparently, it's just like this bright golden rabbit that's on the screen. So try not to lose it if you find it. Um, they're very, very hard to find for me. I've been through Scrapper Coast probably 30 to 40 times and most of them were in a row sometimes it took a break and I still had a hard time locating it the next piece is the rare tulips now it'll be just like a scrap pile I'll get you a picture in a moment since I had a really hard time trying to find the 
tool up. I found it on my phone a while ago. It essentially looks just like this. It's just like a little tulip that pops up and it has a paw print next to it. Just walk up to it, gather it real quick. They are slightly rare, so it's hard to find. It might take you a couple of chances of going out in Scrapper Coast. You may scour the entire area and you won't find a single one. Don't worry, that does happen, but they are there. So I've only found like one, one every three second or third walk through and there was one time I got like two at a time two or three so they do spawn they're there and they're normally around the mountainsides uh, that's why I found the most of mine but they are out there so don't worry and the last thing is of course the rat bandits now they're the easiest to find that are located around uh, the scrapper coast but just remember you can use your recruits like I said about the Yankee bots it still counts so essentially you're just going around using your recruits to do most of the work for you if you just want to hurry up and run through it. Kind of hard at first to find the best rhythm for whichever avenue you want to go, but once you figure it out, you'll get it. But that's it for Scrapper Coast, and now let's move on to the Great Desert. All right, so let's talk about the Great Desert. Now here, this is probably one of the more easier missions to do because there's a lot of looking around, there's fixing, you have to fix the turbines, the, you have to salvage the shipping containers, and then also you have all of these ruined pieces that you need to look for and look at and all these other different locations and explore them. There's a lot more to do here with it when it comes to exploring and fixing stuff. Uh, it does have a ton of cat bandits, you have to do 750. That's a lot, but there's also a lot of cats in the Great Desert, so you won't have too much of a problem being able to go after them all. The pupil pack's gonna be a little bit more difficult. I feel like they, I struggled a little bit in the early game trying to fight those guys. I haven't seen any wild ones. I've looked around, I've seen most of the standard ones, but not the dangerous ones. I'm sure these are like the more advanced ones with, that are a little bit stronger. You only need to kill three of those, but overall, this map is the biggest of most of these other maps I have, but I, I like the Great Desert. And we're going to go ahead and take a look at the map. Again, thank you for Bot World Wiki for being able to supply this map to help us. And it's pretty good, right? So we're going to zoom in and get a better picture of where you need to go. And we're going to go to or in order. So if you see the bottom pieces of this map, we're going to go in order so that you can find it a little bit easier instead of going here. Or you can go to their webpage and see it there. The first area is Fisher Ruins, and that's going to be located right about in here. It's pretty easy to find, and you just have to fight one or two bots that are in there, and I think there's a bandit that normally spawns there. The second place is the Scorch Mine. It's right up here by the ruins. If you need some specific bot parts that need ruins, this is a good little area to go scound around in because there is a ruin site right there. It's that three humped piece, but yeah, you'll find it right in this area. Number three can be found on the High Bridge Pass right about in here. It's a pretty much like an overlook point. It's called High Bridge Outcrop and it's right at in here. It's right on the top. So you'll have to come up this way and come up there or you can come around and hit your spot right there. There is a teleport spot nearby so you'll be able to get there. Number four is the Great Waterfall and that's actually right down here on the bottom. There's a lot of different materials right in this area. So if you want to come down here, there's one or two bots, normally a bandit and a wild bot. Sometimes it's two and two, but you will find it right there. But there's a lot of scrap down this aisle right here. If you want to head down there, it's, it's a pretty good spot. At number five, we have the strange monument and that's right in here. So you can hit these up and then come down here and hit the windmills and be able to knock out a few of those missions at a time. And of course, the last part of this is at the Serpentine Pools, and that's right up here. You can actually come up here at Scrapper Coast and be able to go right here, and that's right where the falls are, and you'll be able to get, um, you'll be able to get the Serpentine Pools right here. So there's a lot of cat bandits in this little area right here, and there's a teleport spot right in the middle, so right there. So you can actually teleport here, get rid of all these cat bandits that are in this area, and you get most of those missions knocked out pretty quickly. And of course, the last piece of all of this, which ties this all in together, is the feeding the wild flamer. Now he's walking around like in this downward area, but he's there's like one or two of them running around, so they're gonna be there for a long time. So if you're trying to avoid them, just 
you know, try to run away or not get their attention or just wait for them to walk by because they have a pretty long walkway that they do walk. That actually wraps it up for both Skyper Coast and the Great Desert. Now, both of these areas are very new in the areas that you access probably the most in the early game. So if you've already been through these areas, you do need to go back and complete the codex and because it doesn't save a record of you going through these areas before and just hop on over and complete the Great Desert. It's probably, again, the quickest one in the early game to complete. Scrapper Coast definitely is difficult because you have to find the tulips and, of course, that jackal that runs around. So between the two, Great Desert's better to complete, um, it, well, quicker at least, and the Scrapper Coast is going to be a little bit more difficult. But that's it for me, guys. Again, if you haven't had a chance to check out Wiki Bot World, go ahead and check it out. Again, I put it back up in the top if you haven't looked at it yet. And the link is in the description. They helped me uh, by creating those documents and those images. I gave you better content so you can see it a little bit quicker and easier as well. Thanks again for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to see more content on the rest of these codexes as we go through the rest of the month. But for now, guys, just keep it real.